वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स वी वेर सींग द टॉपिक ऑन प्लांट टिश्यू सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद अनदर सिंपल पर्मानेंट प्लांट टिश्यू दैट इज स्क्र एंड कैमा सो द टिश्यू कंसिस्ट ऑफ थिक वॉल्ड डेड सेल्स दैट मीन सेल्स हैव थिक वॉल्ड दी सेल्स हैव हार्ड एंड एक्सट्रीमली थिक सेकेंडरी वॉल्स एज यू कैन सी हियर फर्स्ट इज द प्राइमरी वॉल एंड सेकेंड इज द सेकेंडरी सेल वॉल सो ड्यू टू दिस इट हैज अ थिक लेयर and a uniform distribution of lignin lignin deposition is so thick it is a material present in the cell wall so it is so thick that the cell walls become strong and rigid and impermeable to water impermeable that means water cannot pass through this lignin so sclerenchyma mainly have thick walled cells the location of sclerenchyma in the cells is that it mainly occur in the hypodermis pericycle and secondary xylem and phloem they also occur in the endocarp of the almond and coconut the main function of sclerenchyma is to support the plant next comes the epidermis the entire surface of the plant consists of a single layer of cell which is called as epidermis or you can say the surface tissue dermis means the skin epi means the outer cover so the outer cover of the plant is called as epidermis the cells form a continuous sheet without intercellular spaces and it protects all parts of the plants as you can see here this is the part which is called as epidermis this is the part this is the outer layer which is called as epidermis part next comes the complex permanent tissue now these tissues are concerned with the transportation of water as we have seen the mainly the simple permanent tissue are responsible for the outer layer cover and mainly these things but the complex permanent tissue are mainly responsible for the transportation of water minerals nutrients and organic substance so the important tissue in the vascular plants are mainly the xylem and phloem and due to this they are also called as the transport tissues as they are responsible for the transportation of various substances like as you can see the xylem as you can see it consists of the peripheral plates as a, which is a vessel member tracheids are present and in the phloem this is a structure which is a cell and it has a fiber like structure here so primarily phloem carries the dissolved food substances through the plant and the end walls however are full of the small pores where the cytoplasm excels from cell to cell so these pores are continuous you can see these pores are continuous and which are also called as the sieve plates so phloem is also called as the food conducting tissue at its transports the food so students in this session we have seen the sclerenchyma tissue the epidermis tissue the complex permanent tissue which mainly has the two uh, two main tissues which is called as xylem and phloem and also responsible for the transportation of water and food and phloem is the tissue which is mainly responsible for the transportation of food so in further session we will have a more detailed look regarding the other complex permanent tissue thank you